Welcome to World of Marketing News, your source for the latest updates and trends in the dynamic world of marketing. I'm your host, Jessica Tavares, and today we have an exciting lineup of topics that will keep you informed and inspired. First up, Google is currently testing a feature called Ask Your Own under the People Also Ask section in its search results. This feature provides a chat-like experience, potentially within search generative experience, where users can input their own questions for more answers beyond what is supplied by their initial query. The availability of this experimental feature appears to be inconsistent for users, but we are sure to see more of it as time goes on. YouTube has announced new audience insight tools on its analytics platform. Creators can now access data on membership cancellation and compare new and existing viewer data within their dashboard. These tools allow advertisers to understand how different audiences engage with their content for more targeted marketing decisions in future campaigns. Creators will also notice enhanced membership analytics, new audience segment filters, and updated text field components for better functionality. Google's September 2023 helpful content update rollout is complete as of September 28th, taking 14 days to finish. The SEO community experienced significant ranking changes during the update, which focused on promoting high quality content written for humans over search engines. Google aims to reduce low quality content and make it easier for users to find authentic and useful information with this shift. Site operators affected by the update should evaluate their content using Google's provided questions. A link to these questions can be found in this episode's description. It's recommended SEOs prep now because the recovery period is expected to take several months after making any necessary changes. Bing Webmaster Tools is retiring its backlink disavow tool and corresponding API in October to streamline services. The disavow feature launched in 2012 to allow website owners to specify which incoming links Bing should ignore when evaluating your site's quality and relevance. The search engine will use AI to automatically identify spammy links, eliminating the need for manual disavow. Still, owners are urged to adhere to Bing's guidelines on link schemes and spam as non-compliance could result in delisting from the engine's search index. The antitrust lawsuit against Google has revealed emails sourcing from Google's executives in 2017 and 2019 that transcribed discussions about strategies to increase ad revenue and its impact on stock prices and their personal wealth. Executives involved in the email discussion included Ben Gomez, who played a significant role in Google's search algorithm. Prabhakar Raphavan, an executive vice president involved in both search and Google ads, and Anil Sabaharwa, a ranking Chrome executive. The email seemed to contradict Google's previous claims of a strict firewall between its search and advertising teams. Google Ads executive Jared Dishler discussed plans to boost ad revenue by increasing search queries through changes to Chrome, acknowledging concerns about user experience and team motivation. Another document from 2017 highlights frustration within the advertising team regarding the separation between search and ads suggesting the search team consider query quotas, but acknowledging the search team's reluctance to negatively impact user experience. Those are the headlines for this week's episode of World of Marketing News. We hope you found these insights valuable and informative. Remember to hit subscribe and stay connected with us for the latest updates in the wonderful world of marketing. Until next time, I'm your host, Jessica Tavares, signing off.